Some spots tonight are facing wind chills dipping well below zero, but some people still must be outside. Corrine Zell was among them, but has come in from the cold to share the tales of her frozen friends, huh, Corrine? George and Carol, we were in and out of the cold tonight, and that's how most people are experiencing these temperatures, running to the store or filling up their gas tanks. But there are others who spend hours outside, no matter how cold it gets. Keep the heart flowing. Nine hours. That's how long Edward Ross stood outside today. It's important to be out to be out here even on a cold day because the kettle needs a body to ring the bell. This Salvation Army bell ringer doesn't have a problem staying warm. The colder it gets, the more I put on. When I first started November 3rd, it was one pair of socks. Now, the last two weeks, two pair of socks. The last few days, three pair of socks. He admits the wind can be painful, but says extra donations help him fight it. You just get more in a cold day because they want to give more because they see you out here struggling for it. Despite the low temperatures, Matt Oleg tries to stay positive. Um, it's not in the most pleasant, but I mean, when you need to spread Christmas cheer, it's always a good time. <laughs> Working in a Christmas tree lot has taught him to wear layers. I always have hand warmers in my gloves. Uh, I make sure to wear a lot of pairs of socks, long underwear. Bundles of clothes. Kayla Dotson's eyes don't usually water this much. No, this is the first time I've been this cold. The parking attendant says her only choice, except the weather. It's cold. <laughs> it's really cold, but you know, that's how you make a paycheck. If you do have to be outside, health experts encourage you to cover as much of your body as you can. The less skin you expose, the better. George and Carol. All right, thank you, Corrine.